Adding video content to your Canva designs is a great way to enhance your creations. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to utilize Magic Media to create a video from a text description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Magic Media makes it possible for you to create content from a text description. If you would like access to Canva Pro free for 45 days, you can always use my link, lashondabrown.com slash Canva45. So you can create an image from a text description, but you can also create a video as well. So what I like to do if I want to create some content from scratch is to utilize a presentation template as my base so that it is perfectly sized for a horizontal video. You could utilize this as a YouTube intro. You could factor it into a presentation that you're presenting in person, but this is just a fun way for you to add some flair to your Canva designs. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start with a blank presentation that is 16 by nine, and then we'll locate Magic Media. On the left-hand side, you'll click on apps, and then at the top, we'll search for Magic Media. Then click on the box in the top left-hand corner. Now, what it will default to is the text to image generator. And what we'll want to do is click on the videos tab. From there, we'll need to describe a scene and it will create a few seconds of that video. So we can click on try an example which is a wide shot of a water lily floating in a pond. When we're ready, we'll just click on generate video and you've got 50 credits to get started and it will refresh at the end of the month. So it has a little description. It is powered by runway and it says grab your popcorn. A brand new video inspired by your scene is being generated. So it says that it'll take about one to two minutes. And so we're going to let this bar progress to the very end so that we can see our video once it is generated within the platform. When your video is generated, it will appear at the top of the screen and you can click on the play button to play it through. Now, if you would like to generate it again, you can click on the purple button at the bottom. You can also go back and put in an entirely different prompt if you would like for something else to appear instead. To add it to your Canva designs, just give the video thumbnail a click and you'll see it appear in your presentation. From there, you can drag it in the corner to change the framing. When the video is selected on your presentation, you can actually click on the scissors at the top left-hand corner to change the duration of the clip. So if you wanted it to be shorter, all you need to do is to drag it from the right-hand side and that will shorten the clip. When you're done, you can click on done. You also have all of your basic editing features inside of the video editor by clicking on edit video. You can adjust the way it appears, changing the warmth, changing the brightness, the color, what have you, and you can add some filters as well. You also have the power of the video background remover if you choose to utilize that. So what I wanna do now that we have seen what a sample clip looks like is I wanna go ahead and put in one of my own descriptions and see how well it creates what I described. So I'm going to type in my description, a room full of clocks moving quickly. And then we're going to click on generate video and see what it creates. I am actually really excited with what appeared here. So I'm going to rank it five stars and I'm going to drag in the clip and make it larger here. Now that I see my video clip, it's really starting to inspire some text that I would want to add on top of the video itself. So what I wanna do is click on that clip and actually go to adjust, and I'm going to lower the brightness, and I'm also going to lower the contrast to make it a little bit easier to read the text that I'm gonna have on screen. Then I can add a text block here and say, time to really think about the future. Then we can change the text here, make it white, and then I'll drag it here and make it take up more space on the screen. From there, I'm going to change the line spacing and I'm going to click on effects to add a shadow 
and make that black to make it a little bit easier to read. This is just one example of how you can use Magic Media to create a video that plays in the background in one of your presentations. Now, don't forget, you also have capabilities to do transitions between the different videos in your presentation. So if you wanted to add even more animation, you could click between the clips and add a dissolve or a slide, a circle wipe, match and move. So there's so much that you can do to edit video content within Canva. This is just one way that you can create that content from scratch utilizing a text description. So I hope you guys found this to be a really easy way to boost your creativity. I can't wait to see what you're going to create utilizing Magic Media. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more tutorials about Magic Studio. Until next time, to talk for now.